Christian teachings uh, sort of say that um, there'd be many false prophets in the last days and how we would know them, they wouldn't work, walk on the earth. How do you see yourself? Are you a prophet or...? <laughs> um, well, I suppose the way I see myself is I've always been a prophet. In the first century, I feel I was a prophet and not a priest. Um, and now I feel it's just it's exactly the same. Um, in terms of determining who is a false prophet and who isn't, the Bible says uh, quite clearly that by your, their fruits you will recognise them. So in other words, how, how loving do they appear to act to you? How loving are they in their interactions with other people? Do they, are they always honest and truthful in, in something as to, to the best of their ability? Are they demonstrating love in their day-to-day -day life? How do people respond to them in their day-to-day -day life? These are all questions that are a part of working out the fruitage, if you like, or, or the kind of person a person is. So this is why myself and Mary don't expect you to believe what we're saying. We, what would be better to do would be to look at our life over a period of time and uh, examine what you believe after that. Um, and in the end we don't actually feel that it's important that you believe whether we're Jesus or Mary or not actually what we feel is important is that is the truths that we're teaching that will help you become at one with God while on earth um, and these are the same truths I taught in the first century but but in the end they are truths that we can either accept or reject and we can accept them at any time in our life we don't have to accept them while we're on earth even we can accept them in the spirit world if we wish so all of these christian concepts of you know if you if you pass without accepting god into your life um, that you'll permanently be you know uh, in a state of hell or something like that all of these con christian concepts are false and as a result of that they um you know, they often imply things to people on earth that, and people who pass that they can't change even if they're in the spirit world. But the truth is, you can progress from any point in, in your condition to, to at one moment with God, whether you're on the earth or not. So you don't have to do it here on earth. You don't have to make any choices or decisions if you don't want to. But, but my feelings are, is once you start experiencing God more permanently, so rather than just having a, a single experience that might occur you know, in a moment, the key is to get to the point where you're in that constant connection with God in that at one minute state. Now, once a person demonstrates that state again on earth, then other people will be able to see, oh, well, that's a really lovely state to be in, and you know, I'd like to be in that state too.